welcome back to day two of uh, Skate Around Edition 5, um, game one. So it's quite early in the morning. Um, it's I'm too not, early in the morning. Yeah, it's too early. I haven't had any coffee. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had coffee at home, like three or four cups, but that's not enough. <laughs> that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. And not, not for me, not for me. So um, here we go. We are uh, ready for our first game of the day, which is Roller Derby Madrid against... Um, Les Auvergnacs, the uh, Roller Auvergnac. Derby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And an excellent day yesterday. Um, I know that you saw all of it. You were in the yeah, I was in the speaking, place, uh, talking, 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 making lots of jokes. Yeah, and I, I will try to make some jokes too uh, on the feed. But okay. yeah, maybe in, in English, I'm not that good in jokes. That's okay. We'll switch back and forth. You can make your jokes in French, and then I will translate them, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they, they yeah, probably may, maybe don't translate. Maybe will not go. Yeah, because <laughs> it's always jokes on words. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's start with the um, the rosters. Yeah, the rosters. Yeah. So do you want to start with our first team? Yeah, Rodel Derby Madrid one one two. Corey Casara three three. Little Cat. 5-1-7, Iron Didal, 5-2, Bambi Killer, 6-1, Ija de Odin, I'm, I, I'm not involved in that, 6-6-6, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tanger, 6-7, Mercury, 7-1, Garrida, 8-1, Angie, 8-6, Awaite, 8-7-7, Mariquita, 8-8, Nenadza, 9-1, Fleur du Mal, 9-2, Dame Veneno, and 9-9-7, Paola. That's it for Roller Derby Madrid. All right, and for the Auvergnac, who will be playing in blue today, we have Atomic Unicorn, number 1-1, PU, 1-3-1-2, Zonzon, 2-2-6, Genie Jacket, 2-8-3-6-1-5, Ta Mère, 4-2, Chenzo, 5-0-5, Z, 54-5-4, La Galette, 7-5, Crash Q, uh, 716 Super Nanas. I think that's a play on Ananas, huh? Because I don't understand oh, why it's pluralized. Yeah, so. because there is no two S. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, uh, 843 Gabi Scotto, but I wouldn't say Super Nana yeah. because it's not one, it's plural. It's so plural, yeah. Uh, 963 Tawanda, 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 and 974 Red. Perfect. We're about to get started. I'm going to take off my sunglasses because I really won't be able to see. And, uh, yeah, can you take it away with the first jam? I can. Awesome. And it's time to derby in now. And it's big, big, big battle in the, in, in the pack for the moment. And uh, the two jammers are struggling, but it's 9-2. Uh, uh, Dame Veneno, who's getting the lead. And the Jammer Blue sits on the penalty box. I don't know for why. Yeah, so that is uh, our uh, lovely 3615, uh, my favorite jammer from the Auvergnac Tamer. Yeah, this derby name is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it is a wonderful um, derby name. Maybe we can make some jokes about your mom yeah, in English. A lot. Yeah, but number 92, Dame Veneno, is currently going around for their scoring pass. Yep. They seem to have scored all four of the points. Yep. I like to make sure that all of them are scored. Meanwhile, we do have Tamer coming back on the track. Your mom is back on the track, Monsieur Odin. And uh, yeah. She's getting a saw in her hand, trying to, you know, messing with the wall. Yeah, and but the wall like of Madrid, the, the defense of Madrid are awesome. Yeah, really awesome. Yeah, they're really good. And if you can look in the front, there's Bambi Killer. Bambi Killer is one of the, like, um, meneur, you know, okay. one of the leaders of... Uh, of all the all the players of Madrid. Uh, Madrid, yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, but so. not only that, um, uh, Bambi Killer is a member of Team Spain, if okay. I remember correctly. So that is a it's one of those really great players that has a lot of longevity in the league and in roller derby. Um, so I believe Tamer has finally made it yeah. through. Did not pass the star, just stashed it. Kind of yeah. pretended but that they were going to. Veneno <laughs> just called the end of the jam. And so we have 16 to 0 as our first score. I'm going to start taking some stats for us so that we can um, make sure we know what's going on. Sometimes Do the stats, it, yeah, no it problem. Helps us, uh, focus a bit better. Yeah. So 
That was a 16-0 for Roller Derby Madrid. This is going to be very interesting because the Auvergnac, um, you know, had their first victory last night against Vienna. Yeah. And so they're probably looking for a second one. Um, Roller Derby Madrid did win against uh, Vienna, but uh, lost against Namur Roller Derby. Yeah, 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 and they did win like <clears throat> for like ten points yesterday yes. against Vienna. So yeah, it was not a, a yeah. big the, difference. There will be a big time. It, it, it will be a big time for the two teams, but I think that's. Oh, and the lead is taken by uh, Atomic Pew. Atomic Unicorn. Atomic Unicorn. Atonic, uh, yeah, Atomic Unicorn, yeah. One but of my favorites. <laughs> but the, na the demi name on her a, on a shirt is Pew. Uh, Have you seen that? No, it's, <laughs> it's uh, Ato, actually, it's A-T-O. A-T-O, oh, mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah my, my eyes are completely messed up. That's okay, because there so is a Pew. Number yeah. 1312 is Pew. They're not on the track right now, but when they are on the track, they play pivot and often have to get uh, star passes. Okay. So uh, it tends to be a bit of a um, uh, an interesting situation when you have Atomic Unicorn passing the star to Pew, and Pew has to Pew Pew. Pew Pew, <laughs> Pew Pew. pew. Yeah. So uh, this is um, the Auvergnac finally getting some points on yeah. the board, four to zero for that yeah. jam. <coughs> I really like those four, four zero jams. I'm going to talk about them all the time because I feel like it's good for them to do short jams, get points on the board, yeah. make sure the other uh, team doesn't get any points, and then just call it and go. Yeah. I feel like that's a, a good rhythm. However, I did s we did see last night that that's what happened between... Um, Vienna mm -hmm. and the Auvergnac, uh, they did a lot of uh, fast jams yeah. and uh, they had, there were 29 jams in the second oh, wow. half. 29. A lot. A lot. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really th a lot. That's way, way more than I've ever <laughs> seen, ever. Yeah, I, I, I call that stroking, stroking the game, you know. Oh, stroking so the you, game. You are suffocating the game by doing like really s small, small jams, four point, even three or two. Mm -hmm. but you're breaking every rhythm that can be on the game. So it's really cool. Absolutely. It's interesting. So what are we doing now? What's going on? Do we have, we have an official timeout? Yeah, it looks like the officials uh, needed a break already. Uh, yeah. I don't blame them. They it's probably haven't yeah. had enough coffee <laughs> it's either. It's Sunday morning. Uh -huh. Sunday morning, I but <laughs> it's great. Sunday morning is Derby Church. Yep. Yeah, I we don't believe in churches. <laughs> 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 but the, the reason we call it Derby Church is because there's always practice on Sundays. Yeah, because that's yeah, the yeah, only yeah, time always. we can get hall space. So, yeah. Derby Church. Derby We've got 3615 Tamer jamming for oh, Auvergnac, yeah. who has and now fought their way through. Mm -hmm. really hard. And lead jammer. And so the, the jammer, sure uh, Nenetza, is in penalty box. Nenetza is in the penalty box. They must have done something naughty at the beginning of the jam. I didn't see that. So that means that there is a power jam. Yep. The Auvergnac are going to be playing offense. It looks like um, Genie Jacket is leading uh, the rest of the team to make sure that there is a lot of chaos. That seems to be the technique. Now there's some sort of organization while um, they set up a wall. Genie Jacket is setting up that wall as Nenetza comes back. Into the pack, into the back, um, coming up against a well-organized wall. It's pretty yep. good. Now, number 61 is coming back from the box. I'd like to see what's going to happen. Is it going to be defense? Is it going to be offense? What do you think? I think that the Auvergnacs are like me. Mm. They need to wake up in the morning. They still need <laughs> some time to wake up. And no, they, they have woken up and things are happening. Well, if you look at Tamer, a very interesting looking over at their bench with their arms waved up in the air. Should I call? Should I not yeah. call? Should I call? Should I not call? So apparently uh, that was decided uh, that to, they to would the indeed box. call. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But they didn't quite do it. They do have yeah. one standing. I think they wanted to do exactly like I, I said. They wanted to make sure that there were absolutely no points scored by Madrid mm -hmm. this morning. They want to maintain um, a good rhythm. It's and the 16 pressure. to 8 right now. Exactly. And the pressure. The last two jams have been successful for them. The first jam, not so much. So let's see what happens now. That's an atomic and unicorn <coughs> in the back oh, for the Auvergnac. Oh, beautiful atomic, atomic yeah. unicorn. Passing through the inside line with a little jump. Yep, and we have number. And she take one point. Yep, we had number nine seven, uh, nine nine seven. Sorry, Paula from yeah. uh, 
Roller Derby Madrid that did make it through the pack and was coming around risking those points again for the Auvergneac. So they did call it after they scored only one point. And I still like that. I still feel like that they've won the last three jams because zero points for red. Yeah all the points or at least one point for blue. And so that means that they're, they're coming back up, they're, they're getting into their rhythm. There will not be a really big differential of points. Oh yeah, beautiful passage. Uh, oh. Yeah, a beautiful passage nine by number 9-2, who is... Um, yeah, Dame Veneno. Dame Veneno, but is uh, going to the box as well, so unfortunately yeah. that didn't work. And uh, that means that they are not lead oh, in fact, but, but at the same time is going to the penalty box too. So Dan Veneno have, have been released. All right, and it looks like the Auvergnac wall is setting up for good defense. Again, yep. Genie Jacket and number 1312 Pew trying to set up good defense. Unfortunately, Dame Veneno is really good at going through all of the little yep. tiny gaps that they can find. Beautiful footwork. Mm -hmm. And also a lot of power, something that yeah. we've noticed from Madrid is that they're very powerful, very strong, very yeah. fast and very agile. It's, it's a good combination, but it's also very annoying to try and jam against that. You can yeah. tell by Tamer's face, your mom's face, uh, your mom doesn't <laughs> look happy. Yeah, my mom, my <laughs> mom is never happy. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I think she's proud of me, but never happy of seeing oh. me doing silly things. <laughs> So ta both Tamer and Dame Veneno are in the pack. We have both of the uh, groups playing both defense and offense at the same time. So you see that there's a lot of movement. Sometimes it, this can be quite confusing because you can't organize yourself. But it seems like, um, well, of course, we have a two-minute jam because both jammers went to the box. We have a blocker from each team who are also yeah. in the box. So it's a three-on-three, three, full-on defense, offense, defense, Ooh. offense. Ooh, look at Pew's hit on the inside. And they hit the yeah. And they're going to the box, so that means that they are a no pass, no penalty for 92. However, 92 had already scored that point, so they get four points. Uh, Tamer has four points. Your mom has four points. So um, it looks like we're just going to keep going. Ooh, Tamer. Tamer beautiful Snuck passage. through on the yep. inside. Do you think they got all of them? Yep, looks like they did. So that the means... Three points. Yeah. So no. Oh, no, they got three. They got three. They oh, got three. I'm surprised yep. because I would have thought they... There was one in the box, so I would have thought they got all four, but maybe they yeah. only passed yeah. two hips. Ooh, and look at the score on that. So you had 15 points for Roller Derby Madrid and 11 points for the Auvergnac. We have another official timeout. I hope that they're okay. I'm going to look a little bit at what's going on with the feed. Hello, everybody. I love that um, you're interacting with us, so please continue to do that. There's so many people with cool derby names in this tournament. Yeah, including Monsieur Odin, <laughs> who's sitting next to me. <laughs> yeah, and me. my derby name, Dark Crystal, that nobody gets, but that's fine because yeah, you're it's all... from Dark Crystal. Yeah, but you only yeah. get that because you're but old because like we're me. Old, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody else is young. They're like, what does it mean? But Dark Crystal, there, there, there was the, the series on, on Netflix yes, for yes. like two years ago. I yes, think but so. it was so. really bad. Yeah, the movie is better. Go watch the movie, yeah. kids. Always go for <laughs> the original. <laughs> and so there has been an, a question. What's your favorite derby name so far? So until now, it has been Tamer, yeah, your yeah, mom. Yeah, we love it. We also love it. <laughs> Um, Stupid so jokes, but oh, and uh, you have Atomic Unicorn. Atomic Unicorn is taking the lead. I then love it. Just Unicorn. after him, uh, just after him. Um. Okay, so they are coming back around, and the pack is speeding up. Everybody is racing. It is um, a fast pack because they're yeah. all trying to avoid being points. Uh, Nasty Moves likes to call that a horse race because uh, you've got, and uh, that's not very nice for the jammers, but you've got yeah. the two jammers that are racing each other, and it's then you've got the pack racing the smell. each other. Uh, I mean, the smell, that makes sense as well. Yeah, because you the know. perfection, you know, <laughs> all the gear. Yeah, absolutely. A Sunday morning can smell like horse. Yeah, especially <laughs> yeah, especially because last night it had no time to dry. No. Everybody played two games yesterday, then tried to dry out their gear overnight. Didn't work. No. For it never does. Every, every derby <laughs> player knows that gear stink. <laughs> and it's like that. All right, so we have Paula and Tamer on uh, the track right now yeah. trying to get through um, the wall. Madrid wall. Beautiful passage yeah. from Tamer. The wall is was really trying to like stretch out, make sure that they could keep them in, but Bambi Killer wasn't able to do it, although they are a great one-on-one -on -one blocker. Here we have Jeannie Jacket, who is 
and the back, just really making the life of um, number 997, Paula, really hard. Um, but Paula has made it through by doing a star stash after Tamir gets all four of the points. Yep. Therefore, we'll call it off, and it will be a 4-0 jam. I'm not doing very good at marking the stats. I know how many jams there have been, so... <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good to not doing the stats. Yeah, but I, uh, one of the <laughs> things that's very interesting right now, so if you look at the Auvergnac side, they have been playing Tamer, Atomic Unicorn, Tamer, Atomic Unicorn. Yeah. They're playing two jammer rotations. On the other side, they're sticking with Nanaza, um, Dame, Dame Veneno, Veneno and, and Paola. Paola. Yeah. They're still using the three jammers that they used yesterday. And, and talking right about now, Dame Veneno. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she took the lead. Dame, Dame Veneno has the lead, and the, uh, so therefore the Auvergnac are at the back. They want to make sure that they can uh, um, keep Dame Veneno from scoring any points, and they nope. do indeed do that um, on an apex jump, and I really like to see that good coverage on the inside on an apex jump. What you got to do basically is sacrifice yourself. Yeah. So you wait until the jammer has already engaged in flight, and then you just go to wherever they're target is and you uh, usually yeah, get I hit in the back. I've seen really nasty moves. Not nasty moves, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and nasty landings. I remember uh, at the men champs in Manchester, I think, Newcastle. Some guy getting really bad injuries. Yeah, I remember landing that. Landing on his head. I remember <laughs> that also at a Beasts game, so yeah. I won't talk about that. Yeah. Uh, 88 Nanaza has gotten the lead. Um, the current jammer, Atomic Unicorn, was in the box from the last jam, so they're um, about oh, to come back in. And Dame Nanaza, or Dame Nanaza, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Nanaza <laughs> was able to get uh, four points, so they did get their initial pass and four points in the little Ooh. bit of time, maybe 20 seconds that Atomic Unicorn was in the box. Atomic Unicorn sneaking and snaking through the other pack. Still, Nanasa gets another four points, so they're really trying to rack that up. But at this point, um, it, it, it does look like, uh, you know, Atomic Unicorn is having no luck. And so they're still on their initial pass when they're coming from back from the box. You can see Killer Bambi, yep. one of the skaters that I gush over. Apparently, I am their new super fan. <laughs> um, uh, uh, really making their life hard and keeping them in the back. Oh, beautiful Ooh, star but there pass. was a star pass. Oh, yeah, it was really nice. Pass. It was sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. But a bit, little bit late, I think. But we ne Nenad's uh, score, like, a lot of points. Yeah, so we've got, yeah, it's eight points. Oh, sorry, no, that's 11 points for Nenaza and zero points for Atomic Unicorn of the Auvergnac. Um, uh, so if you look at it right now, they're kind of going back and forth. You have that yep. really good jam by... Um, uh, Madrid, and then after that you had the Auvergnac coming back, and now we've got a 42-24 game, so it looks like both of them have woken up a bit. Oh yeah, and it will be a tight game, I think. Oh, now there's your skater, the one that you wanted to talk about, 1-3-1-2. One, one, oh, so yeah, Pew. Pew. Pew is going on the... F and it's not Pew like Pew Pew in no, it's Star Wars. Pew. It's Pew like the tweet. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. tweet. Like a, yeah, like a bird. Pew. Oh, and we've and got... 997 would take... We have three uh, um, Madrid blockers going to the box. So two of them are seated. That means one of them has been sent back onto the track and yep. will be sent back to the box once one of the Madrid skaters stands, uh, which is exactly what has happened. Oh. Um, and it may be that all of them... Yes, this is interesting. It looks like all of the Madrid skaters have to report to the box. So we have one that will be able to sit. We have another one that's still sitting, one that's standing, and one of the Madrid skaters that has to report to the box, and then will have to go stand on the track by themselves. Yeah, it reminds me of a game, a musical chair. Musical chair? Musical chair. Oh, musical chairs. Oh, musical yes. chairs, yeah. I'm like, I'm what's musical chair? My, my, <laughs> my accent is not really good in English. I knew. And it's Sunday morning, so mm -hmm. my brain is getting waking up really slowly. So I'm so sorry. I have lost the feed, um, just me personally. And it's still working, but yeah. it's just I'm not able to check on it. And so um, I do want you to know that I still would like you to interact with us. Um, creía esta mañana a decir a los hispanohablantes oh, y so los participantes de la España, de Madrid, <laughs> de, ta, de, de tocar sobre el... Um, 
el clavadora nos, que nos dicen lo que lo que piensen sus uh, sí. sus pas, patinadores doras uh, preferentes um, un dos tres y lo siento y lo siento mucho para mi acento y mi español porque estoy una tejana y yo no hablo español correctamente pero estamos aquí para ustedes Yo, so you speak Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from Texas. And? Uh, it, Texas is 55% uh, Hispanic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a little known fact. Yeah. Texas is 55% Hispanic, especially like 55. all of our road signs, everything is in is bilingual. So Everything's it's in, 45 in English and Spanish. And 55 Spanish. The cowboys. Yeah, 45% <laughs> horses and cows, and, and the other cows, 55% yeah. Hispanic humans. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So I w I'm yeah. sorry, I was just just The computer is out of, of battery, I think. Yeah, and I really want to be able to interact with you, um, as I was saying in Spanish. Maybe I want we to can interact guess with all of you. the interact we, we can have. I bet they're saying that you and I have an excellent rapport, that we're yeah. super good commentators. Super good. Yeah, that we're really beautiful on camera also. Yeah, it's in the morning. And don't, yeah. don't push it too, uh, too, too much. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be careful. <laughs> and Tamer is taking the lead. So we are off with jam number 11. Yeah. Uh, Tamer is now in lead. Was and an easy yeah. lead because there is not a lot of There are not a lot Madrid. of Madrid blockers on the track. <laughs> no, no, no. But we do have Dami Veneno coming out on um, the back end. We have number 86, Hawaii, who oh, is yeah. going to report to the box now that they can. So now they're... Um, finally going to be able to put a new blocker <laughs> on the onto track. the track, but only yeah. one. So really it's good a situation for the Ovenyaks. Yeah, it's a good situation because yep. they are down and so they would like to come back up a bit. Yep. And uh, yeah, the referees are doing a really beautiful work, seeing everything nasty going on the track. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, uh, I guess they're awake because there are so many Madrid skaters in the box that that must be the case, you know? Yeah. And the lead is taken by Atomic, Kit uh, Atomic Unicorn. I also said Atomic Kitten yesterday, just want you to know. I know, it's a great <laughs> band. It's yeah. a great band. Oh, yeah. Also for old people. So yes. um, this, is <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Uh, commentators are very old. You look at B um, <laughs> Bambi Killer on the outside doing a little bit of a skip yeah. and a hop to be able to make it to the front and still block the opposing and jammer, which uh, didn't necessarily work out. Again, there's very few of them on the track. Uh, it looks like they still have one in the box standing, and that was a 1-2 jam. But 1-2 still means that uh, the Auvergnac won that jam, yep. so they're coming they're back up. They're slowly going back, yeah. Yeah, this is only um, nine points difference. Oh, I yeah. did that math very slowly. <laughs> nine, nine points in Derby, it's like, yeah, That's fi weak. 15 seconds. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. We've seen 16 point, 20 point, 20, 26 point jam yesterday. So, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, anything can happen. Oh, and we're back on the feed. Yeah, we are back on the feed, but we're going to start by talking about the uh, track. Yeah. I think that's very important because we do have a jam that's about to start, jam number 13. Uh, um. We have our... Um, Ooh, who is that? Oh, that is PU number 1312, who has decided to come out yep. and grace us with their jamming skills. While Genie Jacket and is giving um, uh, Dami Veneno a really, really hard time. Oh, it's or, Paola. Uh, Paola, Paola, Paola yeah. yeah, a really hard time. I mean, I love the agility and the power of Genie Jacket, but it doesn't keep them from getting uh, lead. That being said, um, PU is out just after them and is chasing as hard as they can, trying to get points, but isn't able to. Paula does call it off after getting. Let's look at the hands. I I'm, think I'm two looking points. for the hands. Yeah, I have but to. I have to wait for the jam ref yeah. to tell me. I have no idea. So that was. Uh, I and always want to say Dame Veneno, but it, it isn't. It was um, Paula. She got two who points. Out, and Paula got. Two points, excellent. Uh, right. Well, Atomic, uh, well, PU 
mm -hmm. got zero points. But uh, if we look at that now, they've changed up the rotation. So they've decided, like I said yesterday, you was the, the pivot. Yep. They've decided, no, today you're jamming because apparently Tamer and Atomic Unicorn are finding that it's quite exhausting to play one on two yeah. and against a team like Madrid. And Chenso was a jammer yesterday, and I, we don't see her. And that's true, yeah. So, I, I mean, it, you know, you never know what could have happened. I mean, they yeah. could have gotten hurt. Um, I, I hope it's not an injury. Yeah, I hope not, but I, I do remember there being an injury yesterday, but oh. I was just trying to be really fast about making sure that we yeah. hid that from you on camera. I'm going to uh, look over here. To be frank, I don't think I've heard a bad derby name yet. <laughs> Thank you, Omnum. I wonder, actually, is the yellow back stripe tape easy or hard to see on that floor for the players? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of lines on this floor. Yeah. And, and a lot of them are yellow, and a lot of them are black, so... You know, it's probably difficult, but then again, in roller derby, it's you always just, like that. It's always like that. We just yeah. deal with it. You know, it's not like they're painting tracks for us. It's really difficult yeah. for epileptic people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or for uh, you know, uh, oh. Well, I mean, there are lights on the track. Color blind. Oh, for color. Is, is it the the, the word yeah, in English? Color blind. Yeah, yeah, color blind people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and but so there is a rope, so you can feel the track. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful passage from Dam Veneno. Oh, no, it's a cutting. Oh, Dam Veneno is going to the box for a cutting penalty. Yep. And who is the other uh, jammer on five the box? 5 5-0, 5-Z, Z. So that means that Tamer did do a, a star, star pass. pass. Yes, yes, yes. And Z, I haven't seen Z jam at all. This is the first time I've really seen them take the yep. star pass and, and actually have to jam. And jam in a power jam, which uh, she's means... She's going in, a, in, yeah. in the P-Box. <laughs> that they unfortunately were not ready to do this. <laughs> and so they did something naughty and have the to go sit in the prison as they call it in French. Yeah, the prison. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, and Dame Venena is getting through the pack, going back for the P-Box. Oh, and I'm so glad that I was actually able to encourage some uh, interaction from our Spanish speakers. Esa Paola, Dalis, Veneno, Tia. That's great. Thank you for interacting. That's exactly what I wanted. So they're encouraging all of their favorite players and should and should continue to do that. Yeah. While we have both jammers back on the track, what's going on? How is Struggling. our... Struggling. Uh, yeah. Big battle. And yeah, it looks like both walls are... Um, are really strong. Uh, Madrid in front seems to be doing a really good job recycling around each other and recycling back to the back. They're not going as fast as they were yesterday, though. Yeah. And then uh, and the, the Auvergnac. Uh, doing really a great job to stop Dam Veneno. Yeah, look at Gabi Scotto doing a really big offense. Gabi Scotto really key player also yesterday. Really fun to watch. And now okay. we have a backwards derby game. Everybody yeah. skating backwards. Um, and uh, actually, ta mère, your mom, was recycling the jammer. So, yep. yeah. Doing great yep. offense and defense moves. They were also a, a good defensive player. It's always nice to have a jammer who actually knows what they're doing when they uh, pass the star. Oh, yeah. Because it's not always the case. Sometimes not they always. don't know what they're doing. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, jammer not all are, the time. Are just playing jammer derby, you know? They don't, yeah. don't like play roller derby because. They just don't like touching people. They <laughs> don't like it, no. Mm. So, yeah, it's a little bit of uh, official review for uh, asked by the Auvergnacs. Uh, and I will take this little time out to uh, thank <coughs> the sponsors, the big sponsor of uh, this tournament, uh, Wallonie Infrastructure et la Région Wallonne, uh, for the... People who don't really know well Belgium, there is two regions in Belgium. There's the Flemish region and the Walloon region. There's Walloon four. Walloon region. Yeah, there's there's four. four. Yeah, 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 it's four. <laughs> yeah, no, it's three three regions, but four government. Yes. Uh, because we have a Germanic <laughs> region It's not too. complicated at all. At all. Mm -mm. Uh, but the Walloon is the south part when we speak French. Um, where we speak French. Uh, La ville de Namur, évidemment. Uh, qui nous accueille dans son merveilleux hall Tabora. Uh, je ne sais pas du tout ce que ça veut dire Tabora. Peut-être que quelqu'un peut chercher uh, d'où ça vient ce nom Tabora. Moi j'ai regardé, j'ai juste trouvé tabouret. <rire> <rire> Mais de toute façon, ce qui est bien, c'est que comme on a la salle à Tabora, c'est la première fois que Skate Around yes. 
tient it's, lieu it's in the à Namur. Of Namur yes. mm -hmm. It's the first time that Skate Around has been in Namur. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. previously Definitely. it was in Floref. Uh, yeah. I believe one time it was, uh, I think last year it was even somewhere else, but it wasn't actually in the city of Namur. Yeah. Uh, not to add more complications to it, but yeah, here you can have a region that includes a lot of different communes, but yeah. the actual city is delimited in a different way. It's it's you know. Yeah, but th it, it's it's Belgium. <laughs> there is th th there was a lot of work of uh, the Namur League uh, to get uh, to the politics of uh, the town of Namur, and uh, doing uh, even like uh, pressure on the politics to have a big event in the center of Namur, and they have a lot of recognition now. So it's really good for the for the league. And it was about time. Yeah, um, I definitely agree yeah. with you. I'm looking a little bit at the feed as well as we're we're continuing with our official uh, an a official review. review, right? Okay, so we have um, we have some interaction from our Spanish speakers. So yeah. vamos gatas. Uh, yo I veo que las gatas son uh, el equipo de, de Madrid y los ca corazones. Mm. Animo gatas, ah, venga gatas, venga sus. Venga boys. Ah, qué oh. buena que, to que todos los participantes están atacando. Gracias, gracias, es sus. <laughs> It's yeah. really cute. Thank you so okay. much for interacting with us. What so else they say have? they love us. Yeah, they basically cool. love us. I love all of the <laughs> hearts. Don't forget that if you are on the feed to um, subscribe to the YouTube channel um, Derby Livestream because that's the way that this survives. It's provided to you for free. Uh, we're getting a little update here about the uh, official review. The official review was... Okay, it's uh, so Ovenyax is uh, asking to remove a penalty for a blocker, but I don't know more. Okay, um, I don't think it was one. I'm uh, looking over here, and eventually our little our little dot is going to go away, and it's going to be like, oh. no. I don't think it was one. Usually, the the eighty percent of them yeah. are lost. The the officials are very good, and they know what they're doing. They know what they saw. The, yeah. So we have Atomic Unicorn and um, and Nenaza Nenaza. taking the Nenaza lead. takes the lead exactly. So Atomic Unicorn will take off their pretty little star hat and try and find somebody to either take it for them or try and sneak through the pack. Meanwhile, you've got that really fast rotating Madrid wall yeah. going around, but Atomic Unicorn is too agile and is able to sneak through. Yeah, and Atomic Unicorn getting back in the pack, but no. Point scored. Nena Adza just scored one point <coughs> on this jam. Uh, I have just a last sponsor mm -hmm. to thanks. It's Qualias. Qualias it's uh, medical equipment. And uh, and obviously, if you are watching uh, this video and hearing us, uh, you are on the YouTube channel of Derby Live Streams. I really ask you to um, to get the. Comment on dit abonnement? Uh, to subscribe. To subscribe, subscribe yeah. Subscribe, please. Don't just watch it. Hit, subscribe to it. Hit the subscribe button because it's really important for YouTube channels to have subscribers. Smash the like, smash the subscribe, and also interact with us. Number 1312 for the Auvergnac PU yeah, is fighting through as n um, number... Who is it? Paula or Dame Veneno? I think it's Paula who is currently sitting in the box. And um, uh, so that means that this is a power, power jam, jam for yeah. BU. I'm not sure if BU wants it to be a power jam or not, but I knew, do know that Gabi Scotto is um, Gabi Scotto is a very good blocker who is going to pull together their team and make sure that they have some sort of coordinated defense. Um, and uh, they have indeed tried Death to do signs, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it, yeah, they do oh, some jazz hits. Really hands big hit seen. from. Uh, That's number three three. Um, let's see, we have to look because it's Lethal Cat. Yeah, it was Lethal. <laughs> it was Lethal. That was a Lethal Hit, Cat. Yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, we do have number 505Z, who is uh, the pivot for the Auvergnac, who is also pulling back the jammer, number 997, Paola. Um, and uh, we call that wall. recycling. Oh, and oh, yeah, I mean, the hits really and Gabby Scotto. Gabby yeah. Scotto is amazing. Yeah. Uh, the hits, uh, the agility, I mean, they put their whole body into it. And uh, it, it, yeah, it is powerful and scary. Okay, a little bit of squid blocking from 505Z. Um, uh, 
didn't necessarily work, but sometimes it does. So that means that a 997 has finally made it through, while 1312 is going to have to decide whether or not they're going to call it or not. Uh, yeah. Because they do have lead, I believe, seeing as uh, Paola was in the box. So. Oh, no, there's no lead. Oh, there's no lead. That's a two-minute jam. Yeah, and it's really long. Two minutes is really long. Two minutes is a really long time. For absolutely. a jam. Yeah. Yep, and, and it's and the you, end of the jam. And you can tell that Paula feels like it's a really long jam because yeah. Paula probably got a nice little kidney hit, and uh, and and it hurts. Oh it, yeah. I can tell you that that hurts. I hope she will be okay. So that's four points for Madrid and four points for the Auvergnac. Uh, uh, that oh no, there we go. Zero points for Madrid and four points for the. It Auvergnac. was four four. Yeah, it was four four. It is back to four four. Okay, yeah. it, there was some kind of glitch but it's fine so that means that that w that two minute jam all that work nothing for nothing no, no for nothing <laughs> just for nothing <laughs> yeah and uh, it is um, the red jammer uh, Nenatsa. No, no, it's not Nenatsa. Oh, it's not Nenatsa. It's uh, Angie. Angie, back oh. in the jammer rotation. She does a really beautiful job doing jam things in yesterday. Oh, uh, okay. So she's back in the track as a jammer. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. I didn't actually see them play as jammer. Okay, so that means that um, Angie is actually the lead jammer, was coming in for points. Tame, your mom, made it out a little bit late, but yeah. did so by doing a little bit of a star stash. So at the end of that jam, we do have Madrid coming back up with points four to zero. So I'm trying to see if there's like a trend here. It does look like it's either Auvergnac do really well for a yep. few jams and then Madrid does really well for a few jams and then the Auvergnac and then Madrid. But and I don't see, you can tell with the score, it's no. pretty equal. Yeah, and the <coughs> it's a tight game. It's just It was just the first jam uh, when uh, Madrid scored like 16 points. Ali Bali Nenatsa. Nenatsa is the first one to get out and has lead jammer while Atomic Unicorn is still fighting through yep. um, that very strong um, and very fast, fast rotating wall. You can see Mariquita. Mariquita has also been um, a pivotal player, um, you know, leading their wall. One of the reasons that I, we talk a lot about the leaders is because they have their backs turned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can see their number. It's easier. <laughs> it is much easier. And then, then Adza scoring a point. Yeah, Nanaza was is scoring, and the star pass has been completed from um, Atomic Unicorn to number 505Z. Number 505Z is coming into the back, thinking about getting points, but the pack is going too fast. Yeah, it's a pony. It's a pony race, yeah, right? Yeah, Madrid is running away. <laughs> Madrid does not want to beat points, but okay. the thing is, is that. Uh, it Four unfortunately, the yeah, unfortunately for Zed, their own team was also chasing. Yeah. So that also makes it go even faster and even faster. You gotta stop. Don't get yourself trapped in Don't those get kind tricked. of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do not get tricked. But that means that we've got four points for Madrid yeah. and zero points for Auvergnac. So w I do see a bit of a trend, at least over the last three jams, where Madrid has gotten lead and um, Madrid has been the one scoring more points. Jam 19. So many jams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a beautiful. Wow! So le le lead from awesome. Dame Dame Veneno. Veneno. Oh, yeah. they just tiptoed through the inside line on their toe stops as they were getting hit. At the same time, we've got Damer, number 3615, who Beautiful goes to the box balance. as a jammer. Now we have the Auvergnac who are trying to do everything they can. They're kind of going everywhere. Gabi Scotto hitting as hard as they can to be able to make sure yep. that uh, Dame Veneno doesn't get out. But Dame does because uh, the panic ensued. Now we've got Gabi Scotto and Jeannie Jacket on the oh, track. Oh, she made a penalty. Oh, it looks like it. Okay, I was looking at that. I thought maybe Gabi Scotto had gotten a forearm, but no, it was actually no. Dame Veneno who, who yeah, got yeah, a forearm. Yeah, yeah. And Tamer is back on the track. Your mom is back on the track. Yeah, mom is back. <laughs> and look at Pushing Tamer up like against Bambi yeah. Killer. And Bambi oh. Killer, amazing. Ooh, the hit. Yeah. She that is not shoulder hit. Yeah, they're not happy, and they show it. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> Tamer was definitely not happy about that. Whatever was going on, yeah. Tamer was like, stop right now. I'm going to hit you as hard as I can. Instead of doing the beautiful sort of snaking through that they just did now, which is more typical of them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, quite interesting. I'd love to see a replay of that hit. That would be fun. Here comes Dame Veneno straight from the box and straight through the pack. Yeah. 
uh, Tamer number Thomas three six one five. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Scoring and uh, on, one balance, <laughs> scoring on one leg. Scoring on one leg, as yeah. they do, as jammers do. Their lovely balance work. It's, it's so great. But uh, again, Dame Veneno. Uh, I think Dame Veneno is called Veneno because there may be a little bit of venom in venom, their uh, yeah. in their veins. Absolutely. Venom. Beautiful song, Venom. Oh yeah. From, well, I, uh, again, the kids. The kids don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have to know. <laughs> okay, so we do have Bambi Killer and um, Sight. Oh, so sorry. This is a, a blocker's name that I haven't said before. Coleri Casara. Coleri Casara, who was doing a really good job recycling, um, uh, you know, an angry. Oh, I won't say angry. They were just playing angry. Yeah, no, um, they, they were playing derby. They were yeah. the de uh, angry. It was just <laughs> some hits. Exactly, but really good ones, really oh. nice and strong. So. Official review asked by Madrid. In the meantime, I'm going to give you a little bit of a score update. So now we have 12 points for Madrid from that jam and 11 points for the Auvergnac. That's only one point difference. Still, Madrid did win the jam, but because they went to the box, you know, Damien was able to take advantage of that yep. and able to like score a lot of points. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and like I said, that that means that it's it's I mean it's just it's still not a lot. We we're looking at uh, 74 to 53. Yeah. That's Especially in the first half, we've got three minutes left in the first half. That's just not that big a deal. That's not that's not a, a, a big deal. No, no, no. This uh, is a in, tight game. In roller derby, it's mm -hmm. like one or two jams. Yeah, absolutely. And um, and that's why both teams have to keep their cool. Yeah. Um, you know. And it's it, it's it's the third game of, of the, the weekend, weekend, and we are Sunday morning. Yeah. It's not easy to really. I think we'll be able to be at s uh, at hundred percent when. I think we'll all do better once uh, we get to the second half. Yeah. You know, you and I will have had another coffee. No. Uh, I, no, you don't drink coffee. But I don't drink <laughs> coffee anymore. I but I another I chocolate <laughs> milk. Yeah. Um, maybe eat some food. Also, oh, yeah. food helps wake you up. Water. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to your favorite song. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, our favorite song by the Atomic Kittens uh, that nobody knows except us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking <coughs> about Alice Cooper, uh, so older mm. than Atomic Kittens. <laughs> I, and I am so happy to see on the feed that we have a lot of our Spanish, a um, uh, little Spanish watch party in um, in Madrid, who is definitely interacting with us on the feed. Thank you so much. Yeah. We have love for Gabby. Gabby. We also have um, uh, love for the Auvergnac, uh, Miaou. Miaou. Je sais que Miaou, c'est du français parce qu'on dit pas ça en espagnol ni en anglais. Oh. Uh, non, non, on dit Miaou. Ouais, avec un W. Ouais. Okay. Uh, the officials are really on point for Sunday morning. Any chance to get a penalty overview? Oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. I am um, uh, glad you asked. So I'm going to try and uh, show this. The thing is, is that the last time I didn't mm, really get to know. I don't have authorization right now. So you know what? I'm going to get that uh, fixed definitely during the halftime. And then I'm going to give you um, give you an overview of the penalties at that point. So I don't have it yet. But I definitely will make sure that you can see it. Uh, we've got you rocks us. Um, so in Dame Veneno a tope. Yep, Dame Veneno is yep. on top. Really good. That la last jam was incredible. We're really proud of them as well. I think Dame Veneno is due to a Spanish song. Ah, oh, thank okay. you so much for the information. We don't know. We don't you know. know. We don't know anything. We know nothing. At all. No, um, we don't <laughs> know shit. But now we do, and we still have some love from Madrid for the Gatas. So go Gatas. We also have a lot of hearts coming up, and I love it. So please keep sending those over. Um, yeah, que bien esa benchi. Reclámalo todo. Yeah, so they're very proud of their bench staff for making that official review. Go yep. ahead and review everything. It's true, they have a really good bench staff. They have three people over there, including uh, one of our own um, Belgian coaches So uh, that they recruited to come and help. So that's okay. awesome. Good. And um, yeah, Au uh, I'm sorry. Aupa es muro. I don't know what that means, but I think that that means that you really like the wall. 
And uh, Iron D Doll. Yeah, Iron D Doll is one of the players from Roller Derby Madrid who has been doing an excellent job this weekend. Um, I did see them. I have seen them rotating through the wall. The thing is, is that they're one of those players that stays as a butt. Yeah. So I don't get to see their number very often. But also, when you stay as a butt, you're in the way. You're doing your job. You're in the middle of everything. People can't see you. But, but you, you are, are doing, you're doing amazing job. You are doing the best job and ever. Every player on this tournament, I, I, I didn't saw any player doing like lazy job. Everybody is getting 100% of his derby yep, it's on a the lot track. Of hustle this yeah, morning. beautiful, beautiful. Allez, les Nyak. I love the, the battle cry for the Auvergnac. Nyak, Allez, Nyak, 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 Nyak. And Nenad doing a cutting. Nenetza does, does a, a cut before they are actually awarded lead. That means uh, that if... The uh, lead is open? Yeah, that means lead the is open. The lead is still open, open yeah. Mm -hmm. And that if, um, you know, uh, at Atomic and Unicorn atomic, keeps atomic their unicorn. head about them, they may be able to get lead out of this, uh, because, uh, out of this backwards jam, by the way. Yeah. They started at the jam line, and now they're well behind it. That means that they got recycled, but they did earn lead. But they take the lead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good for them. <coughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so time to get up on the score. Yeah, and the Auvergnac definitely want to do that. Uh, They're not playing bad derby. Oh, that, was, yeah, that was also beautiful offense. That entire Auvergnac wall did a really good coordinated thing by coming from the front yep. and just creating space, blocking the other blockers in. Now we have Nenata who is back on the track oh, and going directly so back to the box for another cutting. So I'm cutting. Heartbreaking. Yeah. Oh, my corazón. It's no. <laughs> it's time to begin a collection, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that means that's two penalties in one jam for yeah. Nenatsa. Poor two thing. cutting. Yeah, two cutting penalties. So maybe there was some sort of misunderstanding. Who knows? But unfortunately, yeah. because Roller Derby Madrid has already taken their official review for this half and they uh, did not win it, they don't have another uh, official review. So what we have there is seven points for the Auvergnac and zero for Madrid. And they're starting on a power jam. So this is really good for the Auvergnac. They're probably yeah. thinking this is our opportunity. <laughs> So who do they send on? Good to them. Oh, Tamer. Tamer is back on the track. And oh, beautiful yeah. footwork. To, oh, oh yeah. Look at that in the inside. <coughs> a nice little 180 spin on their toe stops. That's was really beautiful. Whoop. Yep, a really good job. And we can see a genie jacket who is setting up their wall on the inside, trying to make sure that they have some sort of coordinated offense. Uh, th it seems that maybe it might have gotten in the way of Tamer, you know. Yep. Sometimes you try to help your mom, but you get in your mom's <laughs> own way. Mm -hmm. Nenadza is back on the track with a star. Yeah, and Nenadza is back on the track from yeah. the box. So, um, you know, probably really, really wants to get rid of that helmet cover. Oh, yeah. And they, they have a technique of uh, running on the two-stop. Mm -hmm. and uh, running really close to the line with a two-stop, and you cannot feel mm -hmm. the, 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 the rope with the two-stop. Tamer is through for another scoring pass, while Nenata yeah. has finally passed the star, as I said, really wanted to get rid of it, and has given it to number 6-1, Hija de Odin. Hija de Odin. Mm -hmm. I am not involved in that. Mm -hmm. They're both and it's a core. Odin, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not yeah. the same. The you're Odin, you're, you're Monsieur Odin, you yeah. are Odin, and then Hija de Odin, that would be Odin's daughter, but that's yeah. not your daughter. That's not my daughter it's not at my all. Love. Ma, 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 I'm not involved in that. <laughs> the and kid the, is uh, not mine. <laughs> the, the kid is not mine. <laughs> and it's the end of the first half uh, intermission. We uh, have uh, the Auvergnac just scored 12 points on that last jam. Yeah. So now the score is 74-72, only two points yeah. difference. So it was getting up like 18 points uh, for this jam, I think, or for the two last jam. So it's really good for uh, Auvergnac yeah, to come back like at the score like that. Yeah, it looks like they really came back. What, what they were able to do were to take advantage of a power jam yeah. when they had it. Sometimes yeah, you yeah. can see that two they power jam, two power jam and jam. Exactly. Oh, jam. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, it two power jams, inner jam, power. D I know what you mean. A lot but of power <laughs> jam, inner jams, <laughs> jam, 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 power. Exactly. <laughs> and so because there's all that power and all that jam, um, they were able to take advantage of it. And we've seen uh, seen teams who haven't been able to take advantage of it before yeah. and just stay stuck. And so now we've got a two point game. I am um, excited for them to really get into it. It seems like we're, we're starting to get into it. And for you and I to, you know, 
uh, rest, refresh, and get ready for yeah. uh, the next half. I, I need to drink something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My throat, it's like uh, like, like sand. Yeah, you know? like the like, desert. Yeah, like the desert. Mm. Like the, you know, the, the sand warm. In June. Yeah, in June. Yeah, ah, it looks I like. I really a look forward to if go you, if to. If you've looked at the poster, if the yeah, sandworm, like it looks anus, like a. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I didn't say that. We weren't going to say that, anyways. I didn't say what I was really thinking, so that's good. Um, but we'll be back in a little bit. Go and get refresh. Get a little bit more coffee. Get yourself a pastry and come back, and I will uh, be able to show you a few more things about how we are penalty wise. So yeah. See you later. Bye bye. And we're back at it. Uh, we're back. I am Dark Pistol. This is Monsieur Odin. Yes. Um, no relation to Ije, Ija de Odin, the no. daughter of Odin. Um, Not that I know. Yeah. What is the name of the daughter of Odin? I forgot. Uh, oh, she, she. He had so much um, children. What's the one in um, in the Thor movies? <laughs> <laughs> the one that came back with this super awesome headdress. Never mind. This has nothing to do with roller derby, anyways. So no, but we say a lot of things that are really not related <laughs> to roller derby. Talking I mean about old music sh uh, shit and so on. Exactly. Uh, yeah. For those who are um, curious about uh, the origin of the name Tabora, oh, yeah, uh, yeah Tabora us. is um, in fact a place uh, where. Belgian people won a battle mm. against uh, Germany uh, during the First World War uh, in the actual Tanzania. Oh, okay, in Tanzania. Okay. Yeah, so there is so a place in here. Tanzania. It's called Tabora, mm. and no, there is a few streets in Brussels and in Namur uh, Tabora. called Tabora. Awesome. Well, now that we know that, and yeah. I'm not going to say anything mean about um, Belgium and uh, Germany, um, I'm going to show you the penalties because we weren't able to look at them last time. So here are the penalties for Roller Derby Madrid. As you can see, everybody has some penalties except yeah. for Angie and Fleur du Mal. Yeah. Everybody else, they're sharing the love. They've all got a few penalties. They're all uh, doing their part. <laughs> <laughs> They're all playing a lot, basically, is what's happening. You have seven penalties to do in the game. Yeah, so and do so them. nobody, no, 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 that is not, that is not what we're suggesting. But if we look here at the penalty board, the Auvergnac have also kind of spread the love. All of the penalties are being done by pretty much everyone. One of the unfortunate things is that we do have Tamer, who is a jammer on three penalties, and that's not something you necessarily want to see. As a coach, uh, that being said, we know that they are, um, uh, you know, a heavy rotation player. So sometimes when you play a lot, you get a lot of penalties. That's just how it happens. Um, so the score for you is 74 to 72. Do not forget to continue to interact with us on the stream. Uh, we are reading your messages and we are looking at the love. There's lots of love on there. So really, oh, thank yeah, you love so of much. Hearts. And the game is on. Uh, second half from this first game uh, to the second day of Skate Around Tournament and uh, Dam Veneno taking the lead, running the inside line. As they do, as they do. Um, and uh, ooh, oh, looks like we have had Atomic Unicorn kind of get their skates and legs tangled up with uh, Bambi Killer. Everybody went down, but everybody seems fine because they jumped right back up like they're yeah. made of rubber. And Dam Veneno scoring four points. And for Madrid. I'm calling it off. Yeah. I'm just leaving you like for 20 seconds. I have to, to ask my girlfriend to take back lenses for my eyes because I have a lens who is going not good and I need lenses to play my game after that. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay. All right. Well, you go ahead and do that. That's not a problem. Thank I will you. go ahead and um, uh, talk about our next jam where we have uh, Tamer lined up. So your mom is on the jam line um, along with a very tiny skater. So that must be number 997, Paola. They're fighting through the two walls. It looks like the Madrid um, walls are cracking up a bit, allowing Tamer to get through and gain lead jammer. We also have a penalty being called on Tamer. So Tamer has been called as lead, but has also gotten a penalty. They're going to the penalty box. If I'm correct, and it, it does look like I'm correct, because you we are. also have Paola taking their star off. So that means that's going to be a two-minute jam. No, no lead possible jam. in this 
Um, so uh, Paola does get through on the inside, number 997, yep. um, with their uh, super powerful legs and their, um, uh, you know, really tiny feet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they 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 are a small skater but oh. small but mighty is what we say and they yeah. um yeah they they fought their way in then out uh when they were going out and number Tamer 5 is back four. on the track. Yeah, number 5 4 yeah. felt the power of that little jammer on um their booty yeah. and uh number 5 4 felt it on their galette because their name is galette. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and it's a a joke that Nobody but bilinguals will understand, but that's okay. We have a lot of you on the stream <laughs> and a lot of you in-house, so that's fine. So Tamer is back on the track and is back. Pushing in the middle of the of the wall. Yeah, the Madrid yeah, wall you know, turning really well. We do have one of the Madrid skaters, the pivot, unfortunately going off of the track. And number 3-3 oh, yeah. three also getting Little a penalty. Cuts. Yeah, it um, was obviously a forearm. Yeah, yeah, it was. Unfortunately, we have to be really careful about that because it's the favorite penalty of... Um, of referees and uh, uh, Paula has now um, slipped their way through the inside. But as we said, it's a two-minute jam, so we oh. got a little jammer on jammer action. Uh, Paula not happy uh, because they tried to hit uh, Tamer, but yeah. it didn't work out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Tamer is strong. <laughs> I think they're mad, but also they think it's funny <laughs> because, of course, yeah. the two jammers trying to hit each other—they're both very strong, and you know. And Madrid. And they're Madrid. They're mad. They're mad. Madrid. They're Madrid. Oh. oh, that's such a dad joke. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm oh a stepdad now. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think that gives you the right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have the listens. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that Atomic joke Unicorn listen. on the track with uh, Ninatsa. Yeah. <laughs> number uh, 88. Atomic Unicorn taking the lead. Taking the lead. Good job. Uh, that ha That is now uh, the... Um, First lead taken by uh, the Auvergnac in this particular the game. Second, okay. I mean, I guess it's the second lead because Tamir got lead and then went to the yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So that it is their second lead, but let's let's call it their first clean lead. First clean lead, yeah, and scoring points. Mm -hmm. They are on their scoring pass. Gabi Scotto doing some offense against the yeah. brace, but with the, but the, the wall two so wall behind strong. it, oh. they don't really need that brace as much as you think they do. So Gabi Scotto deciding to go ahead and do some offense on the legs yeah. of that brace wall. Good idea. Still not not working. Uh, looks like and we have Mariquita a four wall back on the, the wall, um, on the track. So four wall for Madrid mm -hmm. and two wall for Auvergnacs. No, three walls for Auvergnacs. Yeah, they have a three wall because number 716 was just sent to the box for doing something naughty. So that's Super Nana. Yeah. Super Nanas. Super Nanas. Yeah. And, and um, Atomic so Unicorn taking three points. Yep, three points and they're calling it. And that's a 3-0 for them. So that means that they're still, they're pulling it back up. It's a super tight game. 82 yeah. to 79. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to like wait and see what happens. But I can tell you that both of these teams really want it. Um, Madrid has one win. The Auvergnac have one win. So now they want to pit themselves against each other oh. and see who's going to be better. Beautiful offense and beautiful passage. Yeah, Tamer absolutely. take the lead. Tamer takes the lead, and we have um, number 81, NG. NG, who is uh, um, around for a initial pass. So we'll see yeah. what Tamer decides to do. And uh, it seems to be a very good idea. Take Four all zero. the points. Yeah. Take all the points, and, and then Novanex go home. And going up in the score. They do are we leading. have a lead change? Yes, the lead, lead change. Lead change. Take a drink of your coffee. Uh, take a drink of my bottle of water. There you go. Yeah. yeah. But it's too early to be taking a shot or something. I don't know. But you know, if you have a hangover, it could be the cure. But I don't want to mm -mm. support that. You do you. You um, do you. Yeah. <coughs> I recommend coffee. <laughs> yeah. Or water. All right. We have jam number five taking off. And we have our Dame Veneno and Atomic Unicorn both fighting on the track. Dame Veneno coming through the front and earning lead jammer while Atomic Unicorn takes off their cover um, oh, and, and, and starts to push themselves through the wall. But unfortunately, has uh, there, something has happened. Gabi Scotto is going to the box. I believe that uh, oh. Atomic Unicorn <sighs> thought that they were being called for a penalty, but yeah. that was not the case. And there was a chaos in, uh, in the line of... Uh, Auvergnacs and uh, Dame Veneno. Took advantage of it. Took a big advantage of it. 
passing, not touching anyone. But now she's struggling. Yeah, uh, struggling uh, a lot because I, I don't think I've ever seen a jammer have to be recycled all the way through the middle of the track like that. Yeah. They went all the way oh. around all of the officials. And calling the end of this jam like smashing the end of this mm -hmm. jam on her hips. Now, I'm looking at this. It, it does look like we did have an initial pass by um, a, Atomic Unicorn or not. I know that... Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But you normally the the referees they give they give a little they make a little sign over yeah. their head. But nobody told me. So I but think so they didn't even get an initial. It's a new lead change. Yeah. Take a shot. Take a shot of water. A shot of water now because <laughs> now we're back to Roller Derby Madrid being on top. So yeah. this is going to go back and forth. Uh, yeah. Just it's hydrate it yourself every time it happens. It's probably going to be every <laughs> single jam. We've got three, six, one, five, Tamer uh, weaving their way in yeah, and out, yeah, yeah. trying and to Menaza break up. And struggling at the, the mm -hmm. back of the pack. Genie Jacket doing some awesome offense. Genie yeah. Jacket really good at making sure that those legs get out of the way. They take two players out at the same time and then continue Beautiful pushing on work. one of them to make sure that Tamer only has a couple of skaters to go oh. against. And uh, Jeannie Jacket is having to continue, continue, continue because uh, it, Tamer is not getting through. No, no lead, and no lead at all. Yeah, number eight, is eight is still not lead. And there is one little minute from this jam and there is no lead. No oh. lead and it's still, oh, there's Bambi oh, Killer coming Bambi in through the killer. front. Bambi Killer is yes. definitely a killer of Bambi. I yeah. wouldn't let any Bambis around them. <laughs> and at the same time, Damir has gotten a penalty. In the P box, yeah. Yeah, they are in the P box. Yeah, and uh, high block. It's it's not that kind of P. It's the kind of P's, you know, that are small and green. And that yeah. means that Nanaza <laughs> is able to finally get lead. Like P, like Penalty. Yes, I know. It's not the P box like the little the, the it, litter box. Not the litter of box. The <laughs> <laughs> of the kittens. Uh, atomic goodness, kittens is going to kittens. the P box. <laughs> oh no. We really shouldn't we shouldn't be commenting it this no, early on a Sunday morning. <laughs> they shouldn't let us online. Yeah. Really, there's actual people listening to us. I can uh, see them. They're saying the broadcast is great. They think we're wonderful. Uh, Thank we you are. for this we for are. the cultural they think information. We are funny. Yeah, no, they, they think uh, we're very I, funny. I am funny and you're laughing at my jokes. <laughs> or we're just <laughs> laughing out of delirium because we, do, we just we don't know what's going on. But yeah. I, do, I do kind of know what's going on. So we do have that. That was 3-0 for Madrid. So Madrid yeah. is and still And Angie maintaining. taking the lead. Uh, Sneaking into the middle of the pack. Ooh, they went through the middle. I always like it when they do that. It's always safer in the middle. But so then yep. here comes Genie Jacket trying to do some offense to get Tamer through. Already back in the pack, trying to score points. And she got a point and she get out of the pack. Yep. Beautiful four points. And, and But we're looking at the back here. We've got Genie Jacket who is doing everything that they can to create some sort of movement, some sort of offense. Now it's taken yep. over by 505Z as Tamer is being recycled yep. once again by number three, three Coleri Casara. Oh, uh, Lethal Cath, sorry. It's not Coleri Casara. I just really like that name. Um, and what's going on now? Oh, it's everybody getting back yeah. where they were before. And yep. it's a star pass for... Zed. Zed. Number Zed is dead, Zed. baby. Zed mm -hmm. is dead. <laughs> but she's not dead, and she's getting through the pack. Yeah, and unfortunately, at the same time, number 3615 Tamer is going to the penalty box or the litter box. I don't know which one it is anymore. <laughs> um, but since 505 got out, uh, number and NG. Eight, one NG decides to call it off. Yeah. Uh, therefore, a Extending their lead, 101 to 83. Angie is also a beautiful song. There is a, lo a lot of there are a lot of good songs. Good yeah, songs, songs on the track today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there's a song called Coleri Casara, you know, let us know. Oh yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> Adele. Is it the Adele? I don't know, but no, Adele uh, probably Maybe. from probably from Clermont-Ferrand. If if uh, Adele is a fan of uh, the Auvergnac, I will fall over dead that'd be great um but yeah is also very proud of the offense that was done by genie jacket genie yeah. jacket is really doing a, fire. a lot of stuff yeah uh, we have our little fire and don't forget to send us your little hearts and keep interacting with us and don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel derby live stream interact yeah. um smash that like button ooh, make ooh. sure that you uh 
you stay engaged with us all throughout the day because after this we have the um, Namur Roller Derby playing against uh, Vienna. Vienna Roller Derby and yep. we will then learn who is the winner of this tournament. All right, it looks like uh, whatever kind of little timeout we needed has been completed. We're going to go into jam eight of the second half. Uh, we have Atomic Unicorn lining up with uh, somebody tiny. That must be Paola. Am I right? Uh, I'm looking at the tattoos. It, no. No, it's Dummy Veneno. It's Dummy Veneno. All right. Dummy Veneno is not as tiny as Paola, but nope. still I couldn't see them. And they have earned lead, so Dummy Veneno... Yeah. Um, able to you know use a lot of agility uh they're very and, wow, explosive yeah, yeah 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 and so the they're reactivity able to of, mm -hmm. of the skating is really beautiful footwork is perfect we, so, so we do have atomic unicorn who has decided to pass the star over to 505z Ooh, 505 wow, si Ooh, wow. She, yeah, hey, she really on the outside was awesome she, oh but it seems that they got a forearm while yeah doing it. Uh, we were watching your feet dummy veneno we were not watching your arms so that means 505Z is still trying to get through as uh, the um, pivot the turn jammer. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to fight their way through over there. Number 87, 877 Mariquita doing a really good job at the back, uh, blocking, uh, 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 uh. Uh, making sure that they can't get through. Uh, Bambi Killer, as we said, a really, really good player, but a really good player who also does a lot of stuff. When you do a lot of the things, uh, there's yeah. more of an opportunity for, uh, for you, you know, to, do you to go to the yep. um, go to the box for a penalty, yep. or also because you know you're just doing so many amazing things like number six one who was there on the inside Ija de Udin, uh, trying to make sure that five oh five Z couldn't get through and five oh five Z was just tipping on their toe stops got through that line and it was amazing. Um, beautiful comeback of, of Damiano. Dame Veneno able to come back on the inside. So now 505Z um, with really, you know, the face of a um, of a, a, a pivot turn jammer. They're like, I'll do one scoring pass, but yeah. I'd really like the this to be over. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not going to be the no, case because the other jammer went to the box. So guess what? It's the two-minute jam, and the pivot has to do it. Yeah, and it's awful for the pivot because... Ooh, Dame Veneno, oh a little God. hop, skip, and the jump on this the straightaway. This I mean, they really She's took amazing. advantage of it, didn't yeah. they? Wow. And you can can see on their face that uh, they are really proud of what they've done. <laughs> they're really happy. And po that was Poker face, but happy po poker face. A happy poker face. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what that is, but I do know that um, number 505 should be congr congratulated as that yeah. pivot turn jammer in a two-minute jam. They did score four points. And it's, it, it, it's really a big deal. That's a big deal for a pivot. Yeah. It's a big deal for a pivot. I know. What I, I really know what you mean. All right, so we're jam number nine, and we have Ninatsa up against uh, P.U. Yeah. Uh, Ninatsa hopping around. I mean, really a lot of a lot of activity. Look at that foot. Yep. Look, uh, look at that two-stop job. It was. But also pulling on eight seven seven Meriquita's jersey to make sure that they get they could get through as Meriquita yeah. was holding the middle. But one three one two PU also gets through. They're coming back around, and let's see because uh, Ninata has gotten through for their scoring pass, and yeah. as it suspected, they call off the jam. You can feel a little bit of, of tiredness in the ranks of uh, of Ovenyaks, but I think it's just a little phase down. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll have to see. It it has, you know been a long weekend it is yeah, the first game of the day but i i do believe that the auvergnac if they just kind of like calm down and get yeah, back yeah, into yeah, it yeah, they'll yeah. be able to pull this score back up that being said it's not a big difference 121 to 87 is still no. only uh, 36 points oh you count well <laughs> i did it wrong yeah I'm, I'm wrong <laughs> it's, it's, uh, 34. it's 34 points <laughs> <laughs> you believed me for a second yeah. <laughs> All right, so Madrid's jammer number 8-1, Angie, has gotten through for yep. lead jammer. And that means that we have Atomic Unicorn getting from hit from de Odin. Ija de Odin, but uh, it was a no-pass, no-penalty. So that means that Atomic Unicorn gets to uh, keep on skating. Not only that, Ija de Odin, I think, did something naughty as they were hitting yeah. out Atomic Unicorn. She was out of play, I think. Yeah, and well, sometimes hits. you have to sacrifice yourself, you know. Uh, yeah, but it didn't worth it. I think, but ah, I always, my, I always say it's worth it. I'm like, it's worth it. Well, yeah, you're right. It wasn't worth it because they not only 
were out of play. They also went out of bounds because that, that means that the jammer gets to go through anyway. So what was the And the jammer had a point, so. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, and it was four to zero on that last jam. So we can see Madrid is slowly, you know, creating a bigger score differential. A bigger gap, yeah. Uh, so um, and now we have... Dame Veneno back on the track facing uh, a Blue Jammer. Blue Ooh, Jammer Dame is, Veneno. I think, is Pew. Um, yeah, it's it Pew. is Pew. Yeah. Yeah, but Dame Veneno do, is still doing that amazing footwork, yeah. the amazing toe Look stop at face. work. It's, a little it's bit of a hop, skip, and the jump on the apex, Ooh. making a little bit of a pirouette, calling it off, and then falling yeah. to the ground quite gracefully. Yeah. Yeah. I think it could be great to have points for artistic reason in roller derby. I agree with you. Yes, if you fall artistically like that, like that was really nice. A little yeah. pirouette, turning around, looking at the jam oh, ref, extra calling point, it off. Extra point for a beautiful apex jump. Mm -hmm. or, or what about if you bounce when you fall? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Maybe. not artistic, but <laughs> I think that you should get some sort of recognition. But you <laughs> On this floor, it can be easy to, to bounce. And that's true. This particular floor does have yeah. a bit of a, a rubberiness to it. Um, at number 1-1, one, one, Atomic Unicorn for the Auvergnac has now gotten lead. The this lead is their first the lead yeah. in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jams. And Nenaka, Nenaza. Nenaza. Nenaza, Nenaka. Nothing. Nenaka is, ooh, it's oh, it's... no, Atomic Unicorn, unfortunately, I believe we saw that. The OPR saw yeah. that, and everybody on the feed saw that. You did cut, so no, you will and, be going to the It was not box. called for a cut. It was called for a forearm. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, then never mind. I didn't say anything. I don't so know what I'm talking about. Uh, Whatever you think you saw Maybe they, they, does, they does both of them at the same time. It doesn't matter. Merci beaucoup. Our um, excellent official oh, on the yeah. outside is right. And we are all wrong. <gasps> and um, oh. unfortunately, Nanasa, uh, who, is, um, who thought that they were lead, yeah, uh, and get out. Was, uh, coming back around and also kind of skating out of bounds to call I it think off. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know about that. That's none of my business. That's still the officials' business. Yeah. Um, but then had to come back on the track because they were incorrect. They were unable to, oh, to call it off. Nenaza and now they're, they're struggling to mm -hmm. get back on her feet. I think that they got a penalty as well for a forearm, and so now they are actually going to the box. Yeah. Um, we have a, a, this is a Maybe bit confusing. A late, There's a, a lot call, of stuff going on. A late on. call for the, mm -hmm. for the skating of the vault. But so, so that means that we have no lead. This is going to be a two-minute jam. That being said, there's only 20 seconds left in yeah. it. So, um, you know, uh, of course, Atomic Unicorn is going to do everything they can to try and take advantage of that to score points and maybe come back around. Uh, that being, I don't think that that's going to be um, possible, but passed. they did score all of the points yeah. um, Beautiful. on that particular passage. So that means that we probably have a uh, eight to four jam with the opposing jammer in the box. No, it's 11 because uh, the jam ref who was um, responsible, let's say, for Nanatsa still had three points in their pocket. So they have to pull them out at the end um, oh, of the jam. Oh, so they, they store points in the pocket? Yeah, they put okay. them in their pocket, I believe. I mean, I don't know. It it looks like it because they, they <laughs> pull their hand out from behind their booty and but they're like, ooh, here's some extra points. You want to okay. see those? So they have a pool of, of points in the pocket. Yeah, I think okay. so. I mean, I guess. You, uh, haven't you ever noticed Magic how, the, pockets. how also the out of plays, they put those back in their pockets as well? Maybe. I, I, I didn't know that the pockets of uh, the shirts... Yeah, have, no, no. Uh, have, have something to do yeah, with they that. Have but, uh, yeah, they have, they have the pack in there. They have, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have points in there. They have in play and out of play in there. Uh, from okay. what I can tell, I mean, they just always seem to be pulling things out of their pockets and putting them back in. And actually, <laughs> some of those, some of those um, front inside pack refs, they do it really sweet too, the way they're like out of play and then they put their hand back in their pocket when everything's back in play and they do it like this. Yeah. So sweet. All right, let's look at what you're talking about online. Alignac, let's get it back. Absolutely. No tiamos de que. No tío arms. De que. You know what? I don't know what that means and I'm. Uh, you're going to have to excuse me because I only speak uh Tejano, and then also like um, you know, high school Spanish. So oh, yeah. uh, if it's not, I, I just speak <laughs> Spanish, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. So explain to me. All right. Um. Uh, so uh, I 
I think that there was some uh, question about the penalties, um, and everyone is, of course, uh, in love with Dame Veneno, as yeah. we all are. Um, everyone is also in support of the Auvergnac. Bien, bien, go Zed. Yes, Kikouille. Zed is doing a very good job, even though it is not easy to have to turn into a jammer and then do a two-minute jam. They did a great job. Lola says, bien, bien. Um, oh, yeah. Ana Caparos says it's an unjustified penalty for Dame Veneno. Uh, we don't know. We have no opinion. No. Nope. Uh, we're just reading what is being said by your supporters. So Dame Veneno, just know that there are people out there who are like, you can do no wrong yeah. in their eyes. No wrong. You and I don't know the rules. Yeah. No. I mean, we You just know that. Yeah. I know that you don't know the rules. <laughs> I tried to give you a rules test and you failed it. <laughs> like two or three times. No, um, just one time. Just, just one because time. I, 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 I just forgot there was to, flip, to, to flip the sheet <laughs> and because. <laughs> I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. So I had a great score on the first <laughs> on half. On the first half, it yeah, just but didn't do the second that half, I didn't have a score at all. Oh my <laughs> god, this is hilarious! Just so you know, um, I was a for I was a former Team Belgium men's roller derby coach, and uh, Monsieur Audin was a player for men's team roller derby, and that's what yeah. we're talking about. And this is a, a hilarious memory. Thank you for those. Oh, it was beautiful. Thank you for those memories. So we're back on the track. Yeah, We've got because Nunez memories are not on the track. And Pew is going, pushing through the middle of the line, struggling, but beautiful offense of 9-6-3. Tawanda. Yeah, Tawanda, Tawanda. And oh, Nenadza so running on the two-stop, trying to get... Oh, massive hit from 7-1-6, and Nenaza staying on the ground. 7-1-6 is Super Nanas, uh, and yeah. I have to say Super Nanas kind of came back on the track slowly and thought they may have done something wrong. I don't think that they did. I mean, you know, you online probably have a different oh. idea about that, but we definitely have Nenaza on the ground. So what yeah. I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back and show you a bit of the penalties because it's not good for us to look at that. We don't need to look at that. So we're going to look at what kind of penalties there are. And actually, it's an important um, point uh, that yeah. uh, we have Ika de Odin, your daughter, yeah. Who is already on <laughs> That's five my penalties. Girl. That's your kid. That's my girl. <laughs> That's your kid. The Ika de Odin <laughs> is on five penalties. So we are seeing, uh, you know, a bit more of, um, uh, you know, penalty heavy on uh, Madrid. And we yeah. know that from seeing, you know, that penalty spiral that they had at one point that that could be dangerous for them. The the fact that Nenatsa has four penalties is is you know, worrying because that's a jammer. A jammer on four penalties is not something you want. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, the other ones we've and there got. Was the, 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 the double uh, cutting yeah, on the, the same two jam. Yeah, cuttings on the same was jam. And really then a forearm them. after that. Yeah, so Dame Veneno also on four penalties. Mm hmm um, that is also a jammer. So it looks like Paula is the is the only one who has been uh, Paula and Angie, Angie who have been able to keep. Really clean. Uh, yeah. yeah, Angie has zero penalties. And Fleur du Mal. Yeah, and uh, you know what? I'm not uh, their bench coach, but I would say that it might be a good idea to maybe try and keep Angie on the track a bit to uh, oh. give the other. I think Nenaza will not be able to finish the game, so Angie will. Go back in the jammer rotation. Yeah, so... Um, oh, oh Tamer. Tamer, unfortunately, look Nasty at these jammer penalties. Man. This is not something that we normally see. So uh, we have a lot of jammer penalties for Tamer. Yeah. Um, yeah, really unfortunate that they're in what we call the danger zone because they have already six penalties. If they get just one more penalty... Bye-bye, get back yeah. in the locker room. Yeah, they will be um, uh, fouled out, so not expelled. They're Full out. Fouled out. Foul out. out. Foul and out. Yeah, uh, foul out is unfortunate, but th thankfully you don't have to go to the locker room. If you foul out, you just have to go back up into the stands. If you yeah. get expelled, then usually yeah. Yeah, they ask you to go to the locker room because you've You've done something that um, the rules call egregious or unsportsmanlike. Yep. Unsportspersonlike. You'll have to excuse me. That was incorrect. It does say unsportspersonlike in the rules. And so, um, yeah, that can be a problem. But right now, this is not the case. Tamer has not done anything um, unsportsmanlike. Unsportsperson 
um, Demir has just done a lot of penalties, and uh, we'll have to watch that. I'm sure that, you know, on their bench they're thinking about it, but I also know that Demir is a really good jammer. Yeah. She, is a, you know, a, a she, core she, member of the team as well, you yeah, know, yeah, and like she, a she kind of a captain. Wa she was on the track, like, one, one jam on two. Yes. So, yeah, if you are on the track really often, you do penalties and... You do more penalties than people that are just going on the track who won jam on three. That's just math. <laughs> the math be mathin. Math, math make mistakes. Math be mathin. Yeah. So, so all right. But I, yeah, I, we did, we we didn't so change so on yeah, the we track, and I, I'm a little so. bit sad about mm -hmm. it because yeah, she was really a good jammer, and it was a pleasure to see her jamming. Yeah, a very good jammer. So no, oh, I'm so you off can off. see the official. Blah blah thing, blah 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 with <laughs> Vincian, uh, Vincian with a really as awesome photographer. Yeah, Vincian. Who was there for like 12 years? She told me yesterday. Not 12 only that, years. Uh, I, I have some interesting information oh. about Vincian. Vincian uh -huh. is um, not just an excellent photographer in Belgium, um, but Vincian is also one of the uh, founders and creators of uh, Through My Window. I don't know if you what know about this. What is Through My Window? Through My Window was this phenomenon on Facebook during the pandemic. Okay. Where people were encouraged to take a picture of what uh, was what in their window. In the window. Just okay. whatever was there and just po just post it and, and share a story and talk about it because everybody was stuck at home. Oh, yep. And, uh, yeah, and, and uh, Vincienne was actually one of the original organizers of this. There was a whole oh. expo at the Atomium okay. on her work and the book that she put together. <sighs> uh, if you didn't Wonderful. know that, you don't know how famous this person is that we have sitting in. The, in I mean, this is a worldwide ph phenomenon through my window. I mean, people yeah. everywhere were posting. It was on the news in the United States. I maybe mean, it's a big deal. Yeah, maybe I'm not on social media enough. Oh, no, I mean, that's fine. If you don't want to be on social media, that's actually a good no, thing. No, no, it's probably I, good I, for your I, health. I, I, li I like to be on social media just to, 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 to send jokes to my, mm -hmm. to my friends and uh, memes and things yeah. like that. Oh, you do say it in English. Memes? Memes? Memes. Memes. <laughs> memes. We memes? call them memes. Memes? All right. Okay, so, meme. Um, fortunately, uh, our... Um, yeah, Nanaza yeah, is being Nanaza is out. Is is out, uh, but is being carried uh, off the track now. So um, that means that they are going to be taken care of by our wonderful medics, which yeah. we are very proud to have. Red Cross. The Red Cross is Red providing Red Crescent is in our heart. Absolutely. Red Cross and Red, Red Crescent, um, an excellent organization, and really, it, yeah, here in Belgium, the Red Cross provides excellent care. A lot of care. Earth, earth care, yeah. Mm -hmm, excellent and, uh, care. And so really. Very proud to have caring them. to uh, immigrants, refugees, mm -hmm. and uh, people in the streets and things like that. Absolutely. So, uh, we're and we're happy to have them here to uh, help us with our, our little boo boos. And you know what? Oh, yeah. It looks bad. I mean, Nanata was carried off. We don't know what it is. It no. could be anything. It was a Sometimes knee. I think she 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 fell on the knee. But sometimes uh, those things can get better. Sometimes it it is really bad. But it's yeah. not something that we can like. You know, Imagine. conjecture. No, no, you no, know, no, no, sometimes no. it's just. We're not doctors. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> no. Um, I'm very, very far from being a doctor. I, I am I a medical interpreter. I can play a doctor. You can play a doctor on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you mean on TV. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or maybe on the stage. But I know a lot of doctors. Right, it looks like we're getting ready to play Derby, and yeah. that's Atomic Unicorn Finally. for the Auvergnac, who, yeah. who is And Angie is back on the jamming. track. And Angie, who I is back you. on the track. Oh, you told me, I told you. <laughs> I told you, Angie will be <laughs> on the jammer rotation, and she's struggling with, oh, this massive, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was okay, completely we've, obvious. We, it, it was obvious, but we're not the ones who no. are, are whistling it. <laughs> uh, thankfully, Slow Fox right there to whistle exactly what we saw as well, which is Genie Jackie going to the box for a multiplayer. Yeah, and so Angie take Angie's advantage of it, it, uh, of it and uh, and has gotten take the lead. lead. Yeah, has gotten lead Ooh, and is now on their scoring pass. Yeah, number Watch 226. Watch out your hands. Yeah. Number 226 is therefore going to the box. Zonzon. Zonzon. Zonzon zon, zon. zon, zon go in the zonzon. Zonzon zon in <laughs> French is a, it's a familiar word from uh -huh. prison. Yeah. 
Yeah. For the yeah, so, for the prison. Zonzon is, is in zon, in, I mean, zonzon is, is in the prison. Zonzon is in the zonzon. Zonzon is in the zonzon. Zonzon. <laughs> Croissant. <laughs> zonzon, zonzon, zonzon. Omelette de fromage. Oh, we've got to stop doing this. Okay, number five oh five. Okay, yeah, yeah, there, there is, is there is also going in front is of also this. going to the zonzon because they also did a direction yeah. penalty against number eight one ng. But ng is uh, coming around for yet another scoring pass. So they have been successful on two, and, uh, and, and but Jeannie Atomic Jacket is back on the track. Atomic is really struggling back. Yeah, atomic Unicorn, but atomic that's okay. Atomic Unicorn, not skit, no maga. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. It's, it's totally fine. <laughs> Everyone knows now why we say Atomic Kitten, so they're not really worried about it. But yeah. a, 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 Atomic Unicorn is is probably a, a little bit more special, and we can see that they that they've got you know a bit more like peps in their legs, and yeah. they're trying to jump around and get through like a unicorn would. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't successful. That was a no initial. Oh, for them. and there is a late call for a penalty on Angie, the first penalty of Angie, and it was a head block. Ooh, it was a head block. I think. A high block or a blocking to the head? Uh, or the a blocking with the head? Referee showed the back of his head. Oh, yeah, blocking so with it's the head. Blocking with the head. Mm. Well, um, so unfortunately, so they're going jam, to have to sit in the box. And, for and just so you know, uh, on the on the um, feed, you know, everyone is like, "Oh no, they, you know, none of none of the penalties. They don't deserve these penalties." Just so you know, we we as skaters agree with you. None of them deserve penalties. They should all <laughs> all, all of them are perfect. Yeah, they're one hundred percent perfect. Nobody deserves a penalty. Nobody. But de yeah, the, the skating officials. Um, are smarter than us, and we trust them, and uh, they volunteer for us, so we do what they say. Yes, I don't think the the whistle penalty is just to no, they're trying steal, to keep steal us the safe. thunder of the <laughs> of the jammers. No, you they're, know? <laughs> they're trying to keep us safe. So how is PU doing? Because PU is now lead. lead yeah, uh, but struggling in the really strong defense of. Oh, oh, uh, Madrid, man, and we've got the two walls that, that have fallen down. together. Yeah, and, and PU is, is also, you know, uh, crashing down, apparently. Yeah. I think they got a skate to the face, but accidental one, an accidental yeah. one, you know, not an on-purpose one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, it, w it, it would have been a beautiful penalty. But yeah, but meanwhile, we've got also Angie, who is coming, who had come back in from the box, but also did not make an initial pass. Yeah. So that means that the Auvergnat get four points, and um, the uh, Madrid Roller Derby Madrid gets zero. Yeah, but Roller, mm. Roller Derby Madrid is really taking the lead on the score for now. They, they put a lot of pressure, do. and yeah, they want. And, I mean, they really they want it. Yeah, they really want it. And also, you know, we can see that on the other side, uh, you know, they have to be careful not to play um, uh, Tamer too much. And so, yeah. you know, we, we can see that they're using, you know, PU and um, uh, uh, different jammers yeah. more often oh, in a higher and Dame rotation. Veneno. Take the lead. Dame Beautiful Veneno. lead. Yeah, Dame Veneno is just, it's an, an impressive skater. Yeah, really Powerful, beautiful. Um, you know, agile. Yeah. Um, and fast, fast, and fast. fast, really fast, and really a, a beautiful reading of uh, what's happening on the track. So, um, in the meantime, that means that Atomic Unicorn was able to make it oh. out of the pack, came around for a scoring pass, but not before Dame Veneno was able to um, go all the way through, get all of their points, and call it off. Yeah. That's 4 0 for Madrid. And it's an official review. It's an official review being called by Madrid, I believe. By Madrid, yeah. Uh, let's look a little bit about what you're you're talking about. Okay, Laura Ospina said the speakers are doing great and laughing at us and giving an applause. So <laughs> this is all we want. We just want praise and we want you to laugh at our jokes. That's, yeah. That's all. Or just laugh with us laughing at ourselves because that is also super fun. Um, and uh, yes, we've got love for Nenatsa. Of course, we, we all want to wish Nenatsa the best. Yeah. Big Absolutely, up. a Nenatsa. lot of support. Vamos, Angie. Yeah, Angie is doing really well. And Angie, of course, will uh, probably be playing a bit more, as we said before, because Angie is pretty clean. Um, uh, sus, fuerza sus. Yes, so please, you know, um, we hope that they're doing well. Uh, Go Piu, Piu is doing very good. Dame Veneno, te amo. Yeah, we love you, Dame Veneno. She's so impressive, and I have to agree with that. You know, I gush 
on uh, the skaters that I find uh, to be incredible. You've heard me gushing. I have um, so many fan, uh, so many derby crushes right now. From, <laughs> you from have the, from these. I yeah. crush so you, hard. You, you crush like Alice crush. Uh, just, just really so bad. So yeah. I have, I have fresh news about um, the official review. The um, Madrid asked for a penalty mm -hmm. uh, on uh, the Overnax jammer, but I don't know more. Okay. Uh, well, if they're asking it for the jammer, that was um, PU number 1312, yeah. or no, it was Atomic Unicorn that was on the track because I wrote it down. I don't know why I couldn't remember that <laughs> from like a few yeah. seconds ago. It's but yeah, so chatting with uh, the referees and nothing changed nothing on the line. Changed. So the official review has been lost. So that means that we have 3615, who is uh, Tamer, who will be on the track against Paola. I think it's Paola, think. Yeah. yeah. Paola is very hard to see on the line, very tiny. Yeah. Very tiny, but very agile. Oh Got yeah, through and on the lead. inside and gets lead the right away. First second of the. Right away. Of the jam, yeah. Um, we've got a lot of Auvergnac players falling, so yeah. um, and unable to really get and themselves. Uh, uh, situated now it looks like they're going in to maybe try and do yeah. some offense make sure that they can be a little bit more effective and Tamer is really trying Strong. to play clean extremely clean yeah they're being very careful you can really tell so yeah, yeah. I mean and and, and that sucks to, that's too bad yeah. but then you have here to take risk yeah the, now uh, we have a successful star pass yeah. from Tamer yeah. uh, to Z uh, number 505 uh, while uh, Paola goes around for a scoring pass probably judging whether or not they can get a point or two before Z gets through the pack uh, looks like they're going to go all the way for it yep. and Nata gets to feel the force of the actually pretty good blocking of Tamer as yep. they run straight into them and go to the ground. And they actually sat there for a while, oh stunned. Yeah. Bim. <laughs> Stay on the ground. Yeah. Uh, and it's we are in the last five minutes of this game. Yep, and we have a um, much bigger score difference. So yep. Roller Derby Madrid has been able to take advantage of a lot of different situations to be able to come up in the score. Um, and one of the things that they're taking advantage of is just the fact that they seem to be, I mean, unfatigable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, means yeah. they don't get tired. <laughs> never, never getting tired. And Angie taking Angie. the lead. And I will uh, take, oh, big hit of uh, five. One seven red five one seven iron deed all on the jammer blue jammer and Angie scoring getting through on that scoring pass the seemingly easily yeah. so it looks to me like yeah while um, Madrid is getting their energy going and getting yeah, fired yeah, yeah. up it looks like the Auvergnac are exhausted yes uh, this has taken a lot out of them and it may be you know and this fast pace that Madrid keeps Angie up throughout this game still scoring I will just enjoy this little moment to thanks again the sponsor of this big tournament Wallonie Infrastructure and La Région Wallonne, uh, who grant awarded the organization of the event. La Ville de Namur, so Namur Town, uh, so the Tabora Hall mm -hmm. partner, uh, and Qualias for the uh, medical equipment. NG scoring 12 more points on that particular jam atomic unicorn. Zero, I almost said kitten. Yeah. <laughs> You're awful. And you know what? Here's the thing is we have a little bit of, we have a time out here, and we haven't talked about the officials who got up super early to be here on a Sunday morning who were here <laughs> yesterday. First of all, we want to thank all of the officials who applied for Skate Around. Record yeah. number of officials that actually I, used to I have cannot to. Say. You, no, it, it, it's, it's here somewhere. Okay, um, so I can say, but yeah, you can say, but it, it it's record numbers before they had to ask people at the last minute to come and and uh, and referee. Okay, I've even refereed for a skate around back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, and I'm not very you know exper well, I'm, I'm experienced, but you know. Just because I'm old, that's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, so, so old. Our skate around officials today we have Lula, Gasoline, Bernard, Pussy Panzer Faust, Abraca. Flabra. Abaca Frabra. Don't Frabra. panic. Blah. Eagle Eye Mary, Marcel Proust, Just Flem, Denial, and Vintage. Those are our um, non-skating non non -skating officials. Yeah. Our skating officials, Captain Robvious. 
Gemma. Uh, Gemma, Dani Orerio, Wonder Zebra, Merci Beaucoup, Not Safe for Work, Slow Fox, and Magic M. And Pew taking the lead from this jam facing Damine, Damine Veneno. I think Damine Veneno is my favorite jammer of... Yeah, definitely big, big derby crush. Big, big, big derby yeah. crush on Dame Veneno, for sure. Um, Dame Veneno was not lead, though. It looks like um, uh, PU was able to get lead and, and score. The score four points, yeah. All four points and call it off. So that's really good for them. It's 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 bringing them back into the jam. Yeah. Just wanted you to know, you know, on that, uh, when we were talking about um, uh, the lead jammer, that mm -hmm. was a one three one two. Uh, PU, that was Wonder Zebra that was, um, you know, pointing at them as they uh, went all the way around. So. Oh. Yep. And, whoa, massive. So here we have Paola, push. number 997. Paola, yeah. Uh, small really but mighty, really, push. really strong, pushing through, getting yeah. all the way out to the front through 505Z for Lee Jammer. And Tamer struggling at the back of the pack and uh, making a fucking seven penalty. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, uh, unfor very, very unfortunate. You yeah. can see the disappointment on their face. That the, the, we do know that this is their seventh penalty. Uh, that that means that we're actually probably going to finish this jam without an overneck jammer. Yeah. Um. Uh. So that means that this is going to be a, a, a long, scoring long jam, a scoring jubilee for yep. Paola. So um, one of the things is that the Auvergnac can take advantage of this to get themselves oh, back yeah. together, which is something that Madrid does not want them to do. Yep. Madrid is keeping them far apart. And so now they've finally gotten back together. They're forming a wall. Looks like Genie Jacket is making sure that that occurs. And uh, Genie Jacket, yes, again, being one of the uh, leaders of uh, the Auvergnac oh, defense. Yep. Um, so making sure that everything is covered until, Ooh. of course, uh, Paola gets through on the inside. Yeah, yeah, Their yeah, favorite yeah. place, the inside. The inside, always the inside. But they did a no pass, no penalty, so they only got three points. Oh. Uh, not that that is any uh, comfort to Auvergnac. And there goes Genie Jacket again, being really the one who is leaning um, and, and, and doing the most and following the jammer. Yeah. And so I, I would just like to see them, you know, get their wall together, make sure they're doing it together and not uh, just on their own, you know, because Genie Jacket is great, but it's uh, not possible to play derby all by yourself. No, nope. it's a sport. Mm -hmm. It's a um, mm -hmm. team sport, huh? Right. Yep, absolutely. So uh, yeah. we have uh, Paola still doing the rounds. 19 points. We've got one Auvergnac blocker oh, going yeah. to the box. So uh, uh, just so you know, we have that one Auvergnac blocker going to the box. I'm going to I'm going to show you the penalties really quick. Um, I believe that it should come up right here. Yeah, there it's yeah. the Auvergnac. So we do have Damer who is fouled out and we have Zed and Gabi uh, uh sorry, Crash Q who also um are in the danger zone. So, so is, uh, can you show up the the penalties? I think Tamer has eight penalties. Um, no, it's foul out. It says foul the out. The A is One for for foul yeah. out. No, 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 at the front. Oh, Foul in the front, out. okay. Yeah, so it's uh, only stupid. seven penalties. No worries, okay. no worries. No so eight penalties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, just, you know, because we do it have happen. an official review right here, we're going to show you also how Roller Derby Madrid is doing on penalties. So we do have Bambi Killer and Ija de Odin who are on five penalties. Um, but given that we are, what, at... Um, the, uh, we are well at the end of the game, uh, four seconds, actually, from the end of the game. Um... If there's, you know, going to be one more jam, yeah, and then, uh, and then that will be that. But I have to say something before mm. the end of the game, uh, so you are all listening and watching the game on YouTube, because and uh, because of the work of uh, this amazing channel YouTube. Uh, so Deb live stream hit the fucking struggle, uh, uh, struggle. Oh la la. <sighs> I'm so tired. Hit the subscribe buttons, people. It's important for us. Yes, really. Important. It really is. Last jam of this beautiful game. Madrid against the Auvergnacs. Angie against Atomic Unicorn, otherwise known as Atomic Kitten. Angie getting Angie out through the front. taking the lead. Lead jammer. Well, 1312, our favorite pivot PU, goes to the box. And maybe she wants to go to 200 points. 
Perhaps Angie is trying to get over that yeah. two century mark. Uh, meanwhile, we only have two Auvergnac blockers on the track. That would be number 54 and number 843, Gabby Scotto. Yeah. And. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's, it's Gabby Scotto for sure. And then, yeah, La Galette. La Galette. La Galette, mm. who got hit on La Galette. Uh, J'aime La Galette. Yeah, but look at 81, just really powering through and agilely hitting, um, kind of tiptoeing oh. and jumping around the outside. And the last. Unfortunately, Atomic Unicorn Atomic is going Unicorn to the box. Atomic Unicorn is going to the, ground, to the box. Not happy to going to the box. No, and we have a lot of falling going on here, and yeah. I, I really see that as um, a, a mark of uh, true fatigue no. uh, on the side of the Auvergnac. They're doing their best, but they are really tired. And uh, as I said, this this uh, Madrid team, it, it, they only seem to be fueled by their fatigue. They, no. they keep going harder and harder, and Madrid, there goes 81. Madrid boop, boop, never boop, get tired. Zig, though. zag, zig, and they're out through the inside. Yeah. So once again, scoring all of the points. And when I say all the points, I'm talking about all the points. We're at 20 points on this particular jam. We still have 20 seconds left. Yeah. It looks like they're going to try and go for the record. The record of this weekend would be 28. 28 points. Because there's been a 26-point the jam. There has yeah. been a 26-point jam. So if they make uh, it through the on this scoring pass be before the end of the jam, it will be 28. Yeah. Or if they get 27. Uh, let's oh, see. It uh, looks like they're giving no, up. No, it's not. They don't know that but they that needed the record. But that was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful anytime you get anything more than 20. But nope, 26. 26 is still the record number of points in the weekend. Yeah. But I'm super impressed anyways. What because a game. that's a, what a lot game. of times to go around the track. Yeah. It's a great game. I mean, we saw that it was really tight for most of it. Unfortunately, here at the end, it does look like the Auvergnac just, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to say they fell apart. They didn't fall apart. They still fought really hard. They still played really good derby. Yeah. Um, but, but they were tired. They're really tired. Yeah. And uh, they really give themselves 100% in Absolutely. this game. So I think they, they maybe to should have tried to, to reel it in at the beginning. Yeah. Maybe they gave too much too early. Mm -hmm. And, you know, remember that the score at the halftime was two point tight. So Yeah. And yeah. we had several lead changes as yeah, well, yeah, 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 while yeah, yeah. the Auvergnac were actually on top. So, you know, uh, it, it was a really great game. It was a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to comment yeah, on. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. It was you. a pleasure to <laughs> yeah, do that with you. Yeah, it was a lot you. of fun. And, and it's nice to see, you know, we've had some love from the, the, uh, yeah, the comments. Yeah, a lot of love from the comments, yeah. It's wonderful. Thank you. You have to keep doing that because it's hard for us to get <laughs> up at a on a <laughs> Sunday morning and then talk about Derby at uh, lightning speed because it's not like they're playing slowly <laughs> no 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 no. a lot of things happening at the same time and namur is coming yep so the next game the is next going to game be namur against, against vienna, vienna yeah i don't know where my heart is because vienna is the city of mozart and oh, yes being a violinist yeah, yeah. so yeah. Mozart. And the other thing that nah. you don't know monsieur Odin is not only you know Excellent roller <laughs> derby skater, really good no, at being uh, a speaker, but now is it, but is but is also always been a violinist and a fiddle player. I love it when you play the fiddle. That's my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. They, but I play just a lot so you know, there's a yeah. there's a difference between playing the violin and playing the fiddle. Uh, yeah, just in the intention, the instrument is the same. Ah, uh, yeah. No, but don't tell somebody from Texas that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, if if you don't tune, it's fiddling. Uh, okay. I s <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Definitely not going to tell anybody back home about that. But, yeah, no, so I just really wanted to thank you for being here yeah, with me this thanks morning. thanks a lot. This was an excellent game. Stay tuned for the Perfect. next game, we'll, which will be the deciding game of the tournament. And then after that, we're going to do an award ceremony. And then there's still going to be more games. Yeah. One of which, Monsieur Odin will be playing. I will be playing. Not violin, but I will be play uh, trying to play Roll with Abby. Okay, well, we're going to give that a try then. <laughs> hey, bye bye. Thanks a lot thanks for a everything. Lot. And thanks again uh, to the beautiful Derby live stream. Just subscribe, people. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Bye.